everybody. This is Tim French with Monarch Instrument, and I'm going to be demonstrating some of the advanced features on our Nova Pro 300 and 500 models. These are two tools in one. They're LED stroboscopes and laser tachometers. But we also have patented technology which enables the device to synchronize the flash to a signal that's triggered by the laser or a reflective target that's picked up by the laser. So what we have in front of us here is a biscuit fan and it right now is rotating at an, an unknown speed and what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the, the strobe by pulling the trigger and I'm just going to lock the display so I can back up and show you both at once. So now you can see that the fan has stopped motion completely. We were able to do that by tracking the reflective target and not the speed of the fan. So this is great for inspecting moving machinery while it's running, while your process is running. You can actually pull part numbers off of belts. You can check the condition of gear teeth and fan blades. Um, so this is a, a really, really neat feature. You can also um, see the RPM of the machinery and check that it's it's running at the proper speed. Right now this is running at just under 3600 RPM and the speed of most electric motors is variable. It floats around a little bit as, as you can see here but because we have synchronized and locked onto that reflective target there is virtually no motion whatsoever. Okay, the next set of features I want to show you are only available on the Nova Pro 500, and these are our delay, our advanced delay features. So, in order to access these, you have to get into the delay menu, and you select delay. And there are three options in this menu: we've got phase delay, time delay, and virtual RPM. So I'm going to show you the virtual RPM mode first. This is, a, this is a cool feature. What it enables you to do is to take a stop motion, virtually stopped um, device like we have here. The fan's running, but it is virtually stopped. And we can actually rotate it at a speed of our choice, anywhere between plus or minus 60 RPM. So I'll show you how that, that works. We can enter the mode and we can adjust the speed up or down. So right now, if you look at the fan, it is going to be turning at 2 RPM. So this is really helpful if you've got high speed automation processes or machinery that's having issues or you've got timing issues and you want to see where the errors are occurring or what's happening, but you want to see it in slow motion. This gives you that ability. To do. So we can adjust it forwards or backwards. As you can see, I've just reversed direction and now I'm moving it uh, minus 3 RPM. So it's actually going clockwise. And we can increase or decrease that speed, as I said, anywhere from minus to plus 60. So that is the virtual RPM feature. Okay, the other two features in this menu, in addition to virtual RPM, are phase delay and time delay. Now, phase delay and time delay are basically accomplishing the exact same thing, only presenting them using different uh, units of measure. Phase delay is presented in terms of degrees of rotation, and time delay is presented in terms of a delay in time, which is in milliseconds. Uh, phase delay is typically what you would use for any rotating machinery because it's much easier to visualize um, moving an object in terms of its degrees of rotation. So we're going to demonstrate that. And what you can do, if you if you look at the fan, you'll see that it is locked on in 
dead stop motion as it was for virtual RPM when we started that demonstration. But what I can do is I can rotate that fan in degrees of rotation, either positive or negative. And right now I'm going to just increment it. You'll see this is going to be in 10 degree increments. So as I increase the phase delay, you can see the fan moving in those increments that I am selecting. So we can go from minus 360 to plus 345 degrees of phase delay. And this is handy if you're doing a stop motion analysis on a piece of machinery and you need to look behind uh, a certain fan blade, for instance, or a gear tooth, and you want to position it where, where you can actually see behind it. So, right, if I wanted to do an inspection on the wiring inside the fan, I would rotate it so in the upper right-hand corner you can see the wiring going into the back of the fan. So that's phase delay. And time delay does the exact same thing, only in terms of milliseconds. So it's this, this is currently 5.992 milliseconds out of phase from where the laser is hitting based on the speed of the fan, which is running, as we mentioned, about 3,600 RPM. So you can see where the laser is on the left. You can see where the reflective target is on the right. And you can see the time delay that is associated with that differential. Typically, time delay is most or better suited for linear um, automated processes where you might have, um, for instance, sorting machines or bottling machines or something like that where there is a, a distance traveled and you can associate that to time. So they both do the same thing. They present the information using different engineering units. That's it. So for more information on the Nova Pro and our other products, you can always visit our website at monarchinstrument.com. Thanks for watching.